This is Christy and Renee. We're back with our um, stock that we have actually taken off from the pork ribs that I made the other night. Um, the reason we like to boil our pork ribs is to take the fat out. Well, when you refrigerate everything, the fat comes to the top, so I like just to take and throw the fat away and then use the broth that's left over because what we're going to make now is um, we're going to show you a way to stretch out your meals just a little bit because one of the things we like is we don't like throwing away some of the broth. So we're going to take out our pork chops now that we cook for our dinner tonight and uh, we're going to show you how to make another real quick meal without too much effort for tomorrow night and uh, by not throwing out this great broth that came up with pork chops. Now I'm going to take all the pork chops out that we have done. Um, Christy showed me a cute little trick. Um, if the pork chops start curling, she just took a pair of kitchen scissors and she made little snip marks in it and cut it with a pair of kitchen shears to make those pork chops lay back down. I never knew how to do that. <laughs> that was a cute little idea. Now we have a little bit of juice left in the pan over here from frying the pork chops up. And this Look at this wonderful, wonderful dark brown broth juice that we have. Full of garlic, full of flavor. And we're going to add that to the existing broth we have. Make a real quick steak soup. So we're going to make steak soup, and the trick to this one is there is no steak. Okay, we're going to keep these for our dinner I'm tonight. Gonna put foil on these, put them over on the side. And here's our broth. We got pretty much all the fat off of it. So now we're going to take, uh, and we're going to make man soup real quick. And I just need some um, cheap old hamburger, uh, nothing spectacular. Would you like the whole broth in this pan over here? Mm -hmm. Would you like all the broth in oh, the yeah. pan? Uh -huh. We're going to keep that right like it is. And we're going to take about, I don't know, this was like $1.99. It's three pounds today. So I probably want to use about a pound, don't you think? Yeah, probably a pound. I don't think I need two, one and a half pounds unless you guys want more meat in it. Like, no, so. I, a pound should be plenty. I um, okay. When I make steak soup, my family's a little bit bigger. And um, we also like, my neighbors really love it. So it earns me brownie points. Uh, so... I'll use the whole thing. So we're just going to share. We're going to cut this hamburger off and we're just going to take and put it in here and chop it up in our juice that we already have going. We're going to wait to season it until we get it all chopped up. But that way we don't uh, throw that out. And we, uh, we've got some great stock already working um, in with this hamburger. So we're going to fry that up and we're just going to add some stuff. I'm going to have to do some prep work real quick because I forgot to do the onions like I was supposed to do earlier. So, I know. again, I cut the onions large, I throw them in for the flavor, I sift them out at the end. We'll do it your way today. Woohoo! I win, I win, I get to do it my way. Alright, so, and I will tell you this, there's one thing about onions. Onions are great, but sometimes you get a sweet onion and it's really not as bold in your suits. You can get a regular yellow onion, and I will tell you that if you forget that you're not using a sweet onion, you need to use half or a fourth of what you're used to because the onion flavor will overcome you, especially if you're not used to it. So um, we're going to take a mild onion today because it's sweeter, um, and we're just going to keep it in hunks because she likes it that way, so she likes to dish them out afterwards, which is fine. And uh, today we actually got some fresh leek from the store. We're going to add that in there too because it just is a little a flavor enhancer as well. Leek is a really great um, ingredient to put in soups. Another one of the things that I love to use to cook with, do not like to eat it. Yeah, um, no. So I put leek in. Um, it's pulse. about the same size of, as a stalk of celery. I put it in cut up in thirds and sift it back out. But sometimes leek does get a little expensive, like our fruits and vegetables are known to do. You can cheat and go in the soup aisle and buy a package of leek soup mix. And this is what and leek throw looks that like. in your soup as flavor. This is what leek looks like. It looks like an overgrown green onion, okay? But boy, does it have flavor. The only thing is that you really do have to clean it pretty well. So we're going to leave it kind of whole. I'm going to cut the tip off of it, come all the way down the stock. And I'm just going to fillet it open and make sure that there's no dirt in there. Okay, so we're just going to check it out. Hey, God make made dirt, and dirt don't hurt. That's what they taught me in kindergarten when yes, I ate it. That's true. And you're probably right. And I don't see any sand or dirt in there, but we're going to leave it whole. Just cut that off a little bit. There you go. I'm going to add that. And um, 
probably going to add a stock of celery too. Just to push the flakes. My secret. Yeah, we can put it in there. Parsley! Parsley! Alright, so I have some fresh washed celery here from last time. We're just going to take it out in chunks because she wants the whole this time. That's cool. I'm just going to add it for flavor. So, you got done browning that yet? Almost. Oops, throw the lid on the floor. Okay. Got to have a little bit of onion just to stay in there. I like it. Just do it. She won't know. She won't know. Shh. <laughs> okay, we add this in. Whoopsie. You didn't see that, did you? <laughs> okay. Hey, She's over there. She put in chopped onions. I told her I wouldn't, but I'm going to. I it. Hey. I added a little garlic salt. That's all right. That's what's supposed to be in there. Now what you didn't add is some spray garlic. So we're going to add some spray garlic to that meat. Make sure we get it all nice and seasoned in there. Oh, I wish you guys could smell this right now. This is awesome stuff. We're just add all the rest of the stuff oh, in your hole. You added the lid to the spray garlic. Oh, well that will work. <laughs> Done the luck. All right. Some leek in there. There you go. All right. So we've got everything cooking in that pan. Really easy stuff. Okay, for the most part, I have it chopped pretty small. you got to remember, it's it's meat. It's going to cook while we're boiling the soup anyway. So you don't always have to fully cook your meat. Now, she likes to make it from scratch. I usually am making it from leftovers. My meat that would have been in here would have been leftover meatloaf, leftover pork chops. If I've had steak, which is very doubtful, but if I had any leftover, I'd throw some steak in. Um, hamburger patties that have already been cooked on the grill, I just take them and cut them up real small and crumble them back up into chunks and throw it back in because we don't sometimes waste I can even buy new meat. Yeah. So we just, there we go. We've got start on it now and it's cooking up with some nice flavors in there. We like to let that saute a little bit and we'll come back to you when we get ready to add the, the broth. We're back at cooking our steak soup and we're just going to add a few things now. I just took two potatoes. I washed them real good. I don't peel them. I just take the skins and everything because they have flavor. So I'm just going to cut them up real fine into, into mouth size bites. And uh, I've got uh, some leftovers. I have leftovers from Sunday dinner. We have just a little bit of roast left over. I have a little bit of bacon. So we're going to add some things to our soup now and you just won't be able to stand the flavor. I was just like, right. So I have a couple of ribs. Nobody ate. So we're going to debone the, the ribs here. Let's see if I can get it there. Actually, don't cold. don't feel like you have to put all of this in your soup. The creation of man soup came from crap. I forgot to make dinner again, and uh, I took everything I had in my fridge, threw it all in with some of the juice I had reserved from when I had boiled a slab of ribs, and this is where this concoction came from. Um, I call it man soup because I do. I throw everything in it. We got some uh, leftover, bacon, leftover from bacon from breakfast. It's going in there. Um, gonna throw the rib meat in there. And then she has, oh, look at this gravy. She has some roast and carrots and gravy. I'm like, throw it in the soup. Um, a great filler if you don't have a lot of leftovers. If you wanna do it from the point we're at now, just with the hamburger and the broth. Um, I throw in cans of white beans and. Um, Take all that. I can, uh, I've thrown in cans of white beans and thrown in um, a bag of mixed vegetables that had the green beans, the carrots, and, we have and some corn in there. We'll do that. So you can make this pretty much any way you want, but what we're, the point of what we're wanting to teach you is to take what you've got and always, always keep everything. Don't throw out anything. And get creative with what's left over in your kitchen. Here right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, two broke cooks coming back at you with steak soup or man soup, whichever you'd like to call it. But basically, it's man soup in a way because it's full of meat. And meat goes well with guys. I whatever. figure if I add bacon, it's <laughs> it turns into man soup. I added bacon. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we've boiled the potatoes and, and the celery and the onions. And it's got a pretty good boil on it right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to add 
Actually, what you need to do is take out the lumpy stuff, like you don't like, like the celery. If you would fish that out, just throw it in the trash can. And we're just going to add a bag of mixed vegetables, and this will give us a well-rounded soup. Um, you can chop your own or whatever you'd like to do, but hey, we're in it for speed. Um, so we kind of like this. Um, and she's going to fish out the large onions and the large celery and uh, throw that, toss it in the trash. And uh, we're basically going to add these for a few minutes. And then we're going to add our left, I have some leftover pot roast from Sunday, and we usually add whatever we have left over from Sunday dinner or the weekend. So we're going to add that little bit of pot roast we've got left over. And it's some of the smelling bacon. so good the dogs are crying for yeah, stuff. the dogs are crying for some food now. So anyway, we're just going to cut this open real quick, and it's, it's got a good boil on it, so we're just going to toss this in real quick. She's Woo. almost done getting everything out. Oh, shoot. So, oh, got that one. So, all right, one more thing here, and she's pretty much got awesome. She's got the bay leaves are cooking in there, and it is so juicy and wonderful, and she's going to take out that pretty much pulverized tomato. I have a piece of... Yeah, a piece of potato on there and a piece of meat. There you go. All right. All one, right. One, so more, I... one more celery right there. Oh, there you go. Okay, you found out all the big pieces. All right. So now we got everything out of there she doesn't like, so we're going to add this while it's boiling. Cook these veggies just a little bit tight. Gonna and put a little bit of the broth in while we're at it. From the ribs. The, so we're gonna get it all up boiling. Oh yeah. Alright, here we go. Put some, put some more of that broth in there. If you have more broth, you can always freeze this broth. So if you don't you want to use it all, you don't have to. That's good. Mm -hmm. now, now this broth came from boiling the ribs. But we also added to it a little bit of the broth from um, the other day when we made our potato soup. Um, we had a little bit of the starch water left. In so, or no, it was from chicken noodle soup. We yeah. had a little bit of that starch water left. So, perfect. We're going to boil these. And then in a minute, because the roast is already cooked, gravy's already done, carrots are done, we're going to plop that in there, Stir let it. it heat up. Done. Dinner done. Yeah. Now, this here we're going to finish our steak soup, which we didn't have any steak to begin with, okay? Um, we had some hamburger, some really cheap hamburger, and some leftovers. And, and we mean cheap, like the kind that was rolled up, you know? Yeah, yeah we're cheap hamburger. Okay, Two so, broke cooks, here we so go. So we got some leftover roast from Sunday, so we're going to add this to our soup. We've let our vegetables uh, roll in there a little bit, and we're just going to add this, the gravy and everything in there, and we're going to make it a soup now. So I don't know what you call it. Mm -mm. Some okay. Pork. We've got a little bit of everything. Make in. a little bit of crusty bread in the oven with some butter. Dinner's done. There you go. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I know it tastes awesome. All Grab right. Out of so out of the hamburger, we have done the steak soup with the leftovers in the fridge. We have made meatloaf for later this week. Oh, in our original meal that we started cooking, the pork chops and applesauce. Wow. wow. Be it a half day of school, Christy's gonna finish the applesauce because I have to go get the kids from school. What? What happened? Is my tax money not paying someone to babysit my kids? I gotta go, signing off.